Once you have finished a song in live, you will want to create a file to burn to CD, upload to the internet, or bring to a mastering house. In today's tutorial, we are going to look at how to quickly export or render audio in Live 9. The arrangement view is where you arrange your song along the timeline from left to right. When you're finished with your arrangement, select a range of time to render by clicking and dragging. Usually, you'll want to render the whole song. It's often a good idea to select past the end of your material so that reverb or delay sounds that can extend beyond the last clip are included in the rendered file. When in doubt, listen to the end of your song and note when the last sound fades away. Then make your selection from there back to the beginning of your arrangement. To make selection easier, use the shortcut Shift Home on a PC or Function Shift Left Arrow on a Mac to select all the way back to the beginning. Next, select from the File menu, Export Audio Video or use the shortcuts Control Shift R on a PC or Command Shift R on a Mac to begin the exporting process. Depending on your version of Live, this window may look different, but these are some typical settings. Although Normalize may make your track louder, it's not the ideal solution for giving tracks a full finished sound. For this you need to understand compression, limiting and mastering, which is beyond the scope of this particular tutorial. You can save your song either as WAV or ARF, which are both high quality file types. Note that you cannot render MP3s in Live, so you'll need to use a third-party application to create MP3s from your exported material. To upload your exported file directly to SoundCloud, enable this option. This will launch a helper application that will guide you through the upload. To create a file that you can burn to an audio CD straight away, make sure that the sample rate is set to 44,100 and the bit depth is set to 16. We recommend setting dither to triangular. If you plan to master your track later, however, choose a bit depth of 24 and no dither. Now click OK. Select the location for your WAV or AIF and click Save. Wait as your song renders. This may take a couple of minutes depending on the length and complexity of your song. Now you have rendered your song as a sound file on your computer. If you have enabled the SoundCloud option, after Live has rendered your song to a location on your computer, a SoundCloud application will launch and guide you through the steps to upload your track to your SoundCloud account. You should now be able to export audio with Ableton Live. For detailed information on these exporting audio options, please see the Managing Files and Sets chapter of the Ableton Live reference menu available from the Help menu.